Milano. Milano. Yes, I might have to buy a pair of these. How many are these shoes? What do you think? We're just choosing some shoes to go with this because it's just perfect. I just need some heels. How beautiful is this color? I don't think we've actually said where we are. So we're starting out in Milan with a um, fitting at Brunello Cuccinelli because the presentation is tomorrow. So we are working out what to wear for tomorrow's presentation and it's always my favourite thing we get to do in Milan. Like maybe, do you reckon open? Yeah? Oh yeah, it kind of adds to the sort of holiday glamour vibe, doesn't it? Okay, so you literally just put it round. How, how does it work? And then you tie it? Yeah, just tie it. Yeah, I really like that. It goes, it goes with the, um, goes with the with shoes. shoes. So unique. This one. I like that one more, yeah. I think. Oh, I love this one. You know what I like is that it's really different yeah. from the, the one that you were wearing the, the other time. Yes, yeah, I think so. Oh, thank you for picking this for me, Jada. This is beautiful. I love it. First outfit of Milan Fashion Week. We've chosen a really beautiful Brunello outfit. I mean, the textures and the colour. Oh. Well, cheers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I like this film with us. Oh! <laughs> Guys, let's show you this room because it's just ridiculous. Oh, I'm just so excited. After last year, so we stayed in this hotel last year. We, we had such a small room, we, we accidentally booked a small room. So this year, we booked the biggest room. <laughs> yeah, you guys might remember last season's vlog of Milan. I had like a bit of a breakdown because I, I lost my tanning mitt and had to tan with a towel. <laughs> That's all I remember of that room, just the bad times. And I was literally like voice note to Rebecca like, I had to use a towel. <laughs> And then I found the tan and mitt in the morning as soon as I could see the light. Anyway, so we booked the biggest room possible and it's a connecting suite. So we get this enormous lounge area. Get back. <laughs> it's an enormous lounge area, which is just amazing for us hanging out and just like decompressing from the days. A little dining area. Not that we're probably gonna use it, but then, then I have Dyson with me again. Dyson's doing my hair again. Oh, in fact, this is going to be a paid for advertorial with Dyson because we're going to be doing lots of lovely hair looks again. As you saw in the New York vlog, I had Larry with me. We used Dyson all week. We created some really amazing styles. This time in Milan, I have my wonderful hairstylist Chris with me. Chris Long. I'll leave his, uh, we'll leave his little thing here on the screen. Chris is often the guy that I will bring in whenever I have events or I have something really great to go to and I'm like Chris I need a really good hairstyle. So we've got Chris with us and he has the entire new set with him. Look at this colour. Dyson Supersonic in this incredible orange shade and the air wrap that he also has. This is the pro, I think this is the pro version of the Corral, isn't it, in the purple? Yeah, I love that colour. So yeah, so we've got the beautiful purple Corral. So we've got all the Dyson tools. This is incredible. You can buy this now, by the way. It's just out. I'll leave a link down below for you. So we're going to be creating lots of fantastic hair looks. Like Chris has been showing us a few ideas already, hasn't he? Like that gorgeous, like plait down the back one maybe i could put my extensions in then we could plait it oh yeah i found those when i was unpacking that did you terrified me <laughs> was it like just a bag of hair <laughs> just came out of your suitcase sorry <laughs> like a little rat <laughs> so, so anyway so let me show you this this is rebecca's room which is massive this is bigger than our room last year for the two of us so rebecca's got this enormous bed see like literally it's massive with with harry bows Snakes! Please may I have one? Yeah. Oh, sour snakes. Thank you, Ibonka. We've got massive closet space in here. A bath and a proper little bathroom area, which is awesome. Then through into our room. So then we share this area, communal area, which is enormous. Rebecca, while we've been at the Brunello 
fitting has unpacked everything apart from Alex's boxes. <laughs> and she's put everything everywhere. I haven't seen this room. She's laid out my little my Nadine Marabi pajamas for me. I thought they'd be nice and bougie, babe. For me walking around in the morning, getting my hair in curlers with, with these on. In here is my closet room, and again, Rebecca has done us a solid and unpacked. She's unpacked everything, so I've got all of my looks. So I've just got my new Brunello. I've got philosophy, you've not seen this yet, philosophy, Alberta Ferretti, that's philosophy, a few of my own bits, I've got this incredible La Double J dress which is stunning, I've got my Moschino, Moschino is here, I need to go to a few other fittings yet, Max Mara is going to be on its way, what else are you waiting for Beth? Armani, Armani, Max Mara, Sport Max, Sport Max, Todd's, Todd's, Double sink, so I don't have to have your beard hair all over my sink. Then we have a bath. This nice little bath. I want a shower. Just so you know, this isn't in any way complimentary. We're paying for this room, but it'll be worth every penny <laughs> just to have all this space. All this space. Morning. Morning. Welcome, Chris, to the vlog. <laughs> I did already speak about Chris, but this is Chris. So yeah, so we are starting off today with the Brunello presentation. So Chris thought that we should do a really beautiful like plaited braid down the back. So he's used a supersonic to create this really like lightweight straight finish, haven't you? Yes. Is that what you've done, I think? Yeah. I can't see. So I think that's what you've done. <laughs> and then and then he's just gonna plait it down the back. And then we'll have potentially use the air wrap for the front to get a really lovely loose curl down the front. So it just feels very ethereal. So we have three things today. We have Brunello Cuccinelli, we have the Fendi show, and we have the Alberta Ferretti show. Outfit, let's do it. I absolutely am going to buy this waistcoat. Without a doubt, it's absolutely beautiful. I love what Chris has done with my hair. What a waist out Milan, just feeling like composed, we're on time, we're, in fact, we're like half an hour ahead of time. How perfect, actually, are these earrings with this look? Kind of goes with that really beautiful, elegant, but kind of fun look. So this is my full stack. In fact, it's not the full stack. There is a fourth earring for this collection, but this is my diamonds collection from Edgy Ember. We are actually thinking of maybe making this collection a bit bigger. You guys seem to have really loved this. And if you wanting to invest in like diamond pieces with gold, you've been really loving this. This is what I wear most of the time. Beautiful hoop and then the stud um, and then the triple as well. And they all come with like matching bracelets. Well, these two do anyway. Isn't it beautiful? Doesn't that look pretty? I think that's perfect. Just something quite simple, but it matches the style, doesn't it? Fantastic. So we're going to, uh, where are we going? Vial Montello 16. Okay. So once again, we've got a fantastic car. We're with Black Lane. Black Lane so kindly chauffeured us around New York. And I can't tell you how fantastic the service was and how much I would recommend them. Like for us, this is a game changer. So we're gonna have really fantastic cars that are on time and super professional, really big, can fit all our stuff in. And I can also get changed in the cars as well, which is a big one for some other days. So I'm, I'm so thankful. <laughs> Priority. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay, so Brunello, fall winter twenty three. A very much a neutrals palette, but they've also integrated a new navy colour. I feel like Brunello is the leading brand when it comes to beautiful knitwear with much more skilled artisanal techniques. So some of the knitwear was sewn by hand and they've done it over busts so they get a full figure and then they've made it all by hand which makes every piece just completely unique and exquisite. Quite a lot of cardigans, again, that very collegiate styling. And they have this lovely wool that Layla was just showing us. It's like a fuzzy, I think she called it a fuzzy wool. It's almost like a teddy bear style throw over coat, which was just absolutely beautiful. I love the styling of the socks with the heels. Again, it feels quite collegiate, but also 
just a lovely new touch, almost like a sock boot that you build to yourself. And the one thing I think I loved the most was the model with the blazer tucked into a skirt. But the way they styled it was just perfection, just absolutely gorgeous. So, beautiful first presentation. Right, we're back. Quick change and on to the next one. Watch this technique, Chris has got it down. The mermaid wave with the corral. into the Fendi look. I really, really like this look. I mean, it's very me. It's a roll neck, but it's got these cool features, like these slit open arms, a bit more skin. And then this kind of opens up, again, for more skin. So I've tucked it in the front to give it a touch of shape, but then everything else is just sort of left out. The speed in which Chris has done this hair is phenomenal. He's taken like five minutes, and it looks like unbelievable. Look at it! So great! And then the Fendi trousers, like the full, and it's almost, it's a bit of a, a flared leg. High waist. You have not seen the shoes yet though. Please wait. feeling in the room at the Fendi shows that just of like anticipation and like the textures that they bring out are just always so beautiful and the knitwear, the long knit dresses, the cute little micro bags again it was just yeah so beautiful in a way sometimes it's hard to take it all in at the time I almost like to look back at all the footage I got so I can actually properly assess what I've just seen but yeah it was beautiful and it was just great to be at the Fendi show again. I'm not showing my outfit yet, shall I show my outfit? <laughs> Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? Look at this! The background goes with your outfit. It does! Perfect, thank you so much. this morning. We're about to go to Max Mara and this outfit is amazing but it's made for someone who's seven foot tall. So, <laughs> so I need I need about 50 million pins. We might just have to make it look like part of the design of the trousers. Well there's a really good hem so if we fold the hem up and see what that looks like and then right. we can always just double fold it. Yeah so Rebecca's gonna pin pin these up for me. Did you say that? <laughs> Brief. Max Mara, 
might be my favourite show of the season so far. Honestly, if, if you could have just <laughs> recorded my face during that show, literally the whole time I was just going, wow, <laughs> the whole time, just like, <gasps> it was just perfect, Max Mara. Obviously it was the fall winter season, so it was all the coats, the jackets, the knitted dresses, the knitted top. There were even beautiful long midi skirts that were in the be this beautiful fabric. Like one of my favourite pieces was this gorgeous mauve taupey pink full length coat. Oh, honestly, I'm just so excited by it the whole time. And then, and then I looked at Lauren, the PR after, and was just like, that was so good. <laughs> this, it just made me, I almost felt a bit emotional at one point because it's just my style to a T and it was perfect. It was just immaculate. Bravo, bravo. Chris, talk us through what you just did. So with this, all it, it's a special attachment. So if you've got any flyaways or breakage on the part or anything like that, what it does is it pushes the shorter bits underneath the longer bits so it hides all the flyaways so you don't get those fluffy bits on your part in. Nice little behind the scenes. I'm currently filming a, an Armani Beauty makeup look in the natural light. In fact, it's actually really quite nice. I like this light, you know. So this is how beautiful is this outfit. This um, Emporio Armani outfit. Got this really cool, ooh, quite a jasmine vibes, but this is stunning. Like this is a full piece that goes over the top of the fabric below, and then with the earrings, it's such a vibe. Look at the hair though that Chris has put together. It's is it meant to have the clips in it? It's so cool. No, it won't have the clips in it later. He's just put them in just to hold it while I'm working on this. But yeah, so I'm just doing my face. It's gonna be the usual Armani heroes. So I just use luminous silk in shade five. Which I think is a really good match for me actually at the moment, don't you think? Oh, lovely. I'm gonna use, I think for this actually, I don't wanna go too light on the lips. I was thinking something a little bit more mauvey, like this. Power Fabric 107, I think, because it's still quite cool toned, but it's more mauvey rose. I think that'll be nice. Yeah, I've got loads with me, like Luminous Silk Concealer. I've got like shade three and two, pressed powder. And then one of my fave bronzers, this is shade nine. Oh, it's a shade nine, or shade six, shade nine. The bronzer. So I'm doing like a full bronzy, lovely look. And then probably for the eyes. I mean, I did bring with me. I've brought with me eyes to kill Stella because these are amazing, and it's like a really deep, beautiful blue. I just don't know how dark I want to go on the eyes. And maybe I could do a bit of a liner. Maybe I'll do a bit of a liner look with that. Yes, I will do that. Yeah, and then just gonna finish off with. It's Intraco Mascara, which is one of my all-time favourite mascaras. Yeah, I mean, you'll see it on Instagram, so if you've not seen it already, go have a look at the reel. It'll be up there. <laughs> Do you know, we've been so organised these last few days, and it's absolutely amazing. But we've just been ready, like, with, with really good time. We shot two campaigns for Armani. Now we're on the way to the Armani show. Very much looking forward to it. It's always in the same place in the big Armani theatre. Such a, a massive, gorgeous space. Although the lighting always gets me for shots, so I'll do my best with the filming. <laughs> but yeah, but it's, this is going to be quite a crazy one. We're going to go to Emporia Armani, back into our black lane. Then Chris is going to change my hair with the corral. So we're going to do a full corral hair change in the, in the back of the car to Moschino. And I need to change into my Moschino outfit. Then, after Moschino, I get back into my Armani outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get back into my Armani outfit and go to an Armani dinner. Thank goodness we have this car today, or else this would just not happen. Watery eye syndrome happening. Is my, um, is my vest on right? I think so. Yeah. That's great. Okay, time for the Emporio Armani show. Good. Cool, I'm coming. got back into the car and Chris has literally turned around a full hair transformation in half an hour with the corral. How mean, how amazing. And then I look like a completely different person. <laughs> I kind of hope people see me from the Armani show to this and be like, 
how did this happen in literally <laughs> half an hour? <laughs> how amazing. Talk us through what you did, Chris. So taking like um, different sections, like some large, some small, and then just doing a drop curl and leaving the end straighter because it kind of gives it that modern feel, but it's still kind of got like a little bit of like an 80s vibe. Yeah. But like, then literally getting a wide tooth comb and then I'm just teasing it up, just kind of get that fluffiness and like the texture. And then we just flipped it over to the side as well. Oh yeah. <gasps> Chris, what a transformation this is though. I mean, I love the last look, but this is you, isn't it's it? It's completely different. It's <gasps> completely di oh, I love it. And it's so good with this outfit. So this is my Moschino outfit with the knives and forks, matching bag, and then these like curtain tassel earrings. I love this look. So like Beyonce's fan club is called The Beehive, Rihanna's fan club is called The Navy, Victoria's fan club are called The Victorians. Yes, yes. How have we never come up with this before? I know, right? Rani, we are just too you. good. Oh, I can feel the life seeping into me with this coffee. Good. Oh, sorry, I forget that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> See as well, what a word. I know. Ooh. I can just feel my energy going. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Quick look at the outfit. On the way to Todd's. I'm so thankful to his little shoes today. Lovely flat shoes. Cute little Todd's bag, but I love this like layering. And I've got my coffee, so I'm happy now. Okay, first show of the day. We've got three shows today, back to back. All back to back. I'm gonna have to change twice in the car. Quite a quick turnaround, but. This one is Todd's. Always such a highlight of the whole season, so. Yeah, can't wait. Green screen our choice. doing a very very quick hair change while we're in a traffic jam and not moving so I can just quickly get down. <laughs> One more. This is probably the coolest show space that I've ever seen. Everyone's on their own little different chairs and I imagine they're probably like vintage reclaimed. Such a cool idea. I'm sat with Anna and Bettina so we're gonna have our own little To the philosophy show. So I'm wearing a full philosophy, well it's not full actually, it's, it's philosophy leggings and a philosophy top that I'm just going to tuck in together so it looks like a full jumpsuit and then I'm going to wear these Valentino heels and then I've got a philosophy pink blazer as well. 
So for the hair, we're going to use the texture that uh, Chris created earlier with the corral. And so we changed it up from half up, half down for Todd's. Then Chris put it up for Sport Max. And now Chris is going to make, didn't you call it a puffball effect? Puffball ponytail. Puffball pony. <laughs> Fashion Week, but we've got like 10 presentations. Tonight we've got Bulgari, Laura Piana, and and then Jean Vito Rossi. I've worn this beautiful Le Double J dress. I'll leave it linked for you guys. It's a little bit creased in the middle, but we don't have time. <laughs> but I've also paired it with these absolutely stunning Jean Vito Rossi heels that I thought like the extra jewels would just look so pretty. And then for the hair, Chris has done a full air wrap. Like literally, I washed my hair before when we got in, after all the big curls, and it was up in the, um, and then it went up in the ponytail. Washed it, started again, and then Chris has air wrapped it, so it's got this like massive volume again. And if we just, maybe if we just comb it through a tiny bit more. Scrape it through. Because I want it to look evening. But so I don't want to take too much out. I almost just want to take away like 5%. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Only 5%, Chris. Not 10%. 5%. <laughs> End of the week. So two presentations down. Um, so first presentation, Bulgari, new collection, the new handbag shape. Did you get that on film? That amazing new handbag shape with the double strap that actually comes with a third strap and the idea is that you put all three mm -hmm. together and then you can have it as like a crossbody, you can have it as a shorter strap or the shorter still as like a, a shoulder bag. Such an innovative idea, it's beautiful and I love the thicker snake chain. So that's amazing, all the different colours, the mustard colour I absolutely need in my life. Plus so many other absolutely beautiful bags. We we got there literally as it was about to close and there's lots of people that I know in the Bulgari team so it's so nice to see everyone quickly and then we shot within about two minutes. So I'm hoping those pictures are wonderful. Um, <coughs> of course they will be, obviously. <laughs> and then we've just nipped into the Wolford presentation to see their latest designs and there were some incredible bodysuits. You guys know how obsessed I am with the Wolford bodysuits. I have white, black and cherry in the um, Colorado thong bodysuit and it's like the best thing I've ever bought. The Mugler Wolford bodysuits I've, I've worn so many times. I'm just the biggest fan of their quality and the styles and so it's really nice to see it in the flesh and actually see um, and see the presentation. And now we're on our way to the Jean Vito Rossi presentation. Wow. You look pretty fresh. I think I look puffy eyed. Oh gosh, okay. Last day of Milan Fashion Week. It is quite a lovely, nice, relaxed one at least, which is great. We just have a few shoots to do. And we have the Jimmy Cheat presentation to go go to. Chris is doing final hair, a corral straight look. Because we did the corral curly look. What day was that? Oh, two days ago. Curly, yeah. 
And we kind of did like a half a half day fairly like yesterday with the crowd as well, didn't we? Oh yes. God, was that yesterday? Yeah, so Chris did obviously the curls in the car and the next day we did half up, half down and then you did, yeah, I mean, I mean, you've seen all the hairstyles have been amazing. Bravo, Chris, bravo, Thank Chris. You. <laughs> so Chris is doing a straight look today. Um, and we're going to the Jimmy Choo presentation and we're going to the Mac and Mac presentation. If I'm talking weird, it's because I have a huge, like blown up, what would you call it, swelling on my tongue because I've been talking so much and it's just got really cut, so I'm struggling to talk. I think it looks yeah. very good. I think, I think it looks good having the extra skin. 100%. So like the bra open, because I was hoping I'd have shorts this length, so you'd get the leg. For the presentation, Jimmy Choo. So I'm wearing these incredible, you, you might remember these if you watched last season's Milan Fashion Week vlog. I showed these and I was really excited about them. So the denim at the front and the spray painted, like they spoke spray painted down the back. So I just paired them with a pair of YSL shorts. And then my bra, in fact I just realised that these almost match. The bra and that with the ribbing almost looks like the same thing, doesn't it? I thought it was. Perfect. I thought to carry on the denim, I've got this really cool, it's almost like a, a denim jacket vibe, like a shirt jacket, but it's like almost like cardigan material. But then denim up there. That looks like it could fit me. Well, you're not having it. <laughs> so this is the kind of feel. And then the Jimmy Choo bag, this is the diamond hobo bag, relaxed hobo bag. This is such a great like casual bag thrown on. And then my hair, if I do this, can you see the colour? So Chris has obviously he's straightened it all like you saw, but he's put in these copper extensions so that when we get pictures, there's been this little flash of copper coming through the hair. So can you see it now? Like, just little flashes of the copper. How lovely are these glasses. I really love these. The big, the big JC. But aren't they nice? So we're at the Jimmy Choo presentation. We've just seen the ladies from Jimmy Choo have a little chat catch up. And oh, there are some. Do you, I mean, do you want me to show you some of my favourite pieces? Okay. Okay. These boots have the most amazing shape. Like they're so, they're so my kind of boot. Super slender, tall ankle boots with the perfect square toe. These remind me a bit of the Dior boots I have from like four or five years ago that I keep getting repaired because I just love the shape so much. So I'm absolutely gonna buy these for sure. Then they also come in a full like ankle, in a full calf length in a nude. Slightly smaller heel. Then for flat shoes, I think these are gonna be like so wearable. I love the bracelet over the top and this is the square toe. They're just really cute. I feel like, I mean, these kind of ballerina flat shoes are gonna be massive this season. This is gonna be the Jimmy Choo bag though of the season. This new diamond shoe. It's like a new Jimmy Choo signature, a few different colours, and I just love this strap. I'm guessing this probably also comes with, oh it also comes with a crossbody strap as well, these boots. Slightly similar to the last black boots, but these ones have the cutout, the diamond signature. Um, slightly smaller heel, but an amazing pointed toe again. So again, they're just very, very me. So there are some fantastic pieces for the new collection. which is a real honour. I love this brand. As you know, I've got a couple of pairs of their shoes and they are just exquisite. So I'm getting a really good look of all of the new collection and the two creative designers are here, which is just really, really wonderful. So, okay, let me point out a few favourites. Okay, so in the, in the, full, the full heel with full glitter and the double bow, with super recognisable for the brand, but then full glitter. I almost wish that we could get married again just so I can wear something like this for our first dance. But then everything comes in like a flat shoe, a kitten heel, a full pump, and then also with the straps. It's kind of anyone, anyone's preferences adhered to. These were inspired by Marie Antoinette styles. They almost feel like cake toppings. These are my favourite with the sling back. I mean, how beautiful. These are really beautiful. I mean, the way that the, the satin has been pulled into the sides of the shoe and then pulled over to create this heart effect and then with the double heart over the front again what what a beautiful wedding shoe 
gorgeous. I mean, there's so many to show you, but these are just a few of my faves. Are just amazing. So this is the new triple heart emblem. So as well as the bow, the recognizable bow, this is like the new emblem of the brand. Um, these are just amazing. I also love them with the denim. I feel like denim is going to be huge in shoes and in accessories. But in fact, these so these are all coming out in September. However, there is already this style available online. So Selfridges, it's Forte, Harrods. Um, so you can already get this now. But some of these colorways will be September. But look how beautiful the elongated toe shape. Just super feminine, really sexy. I mean, how me is this shoe? I love it. And again, how pretty are these? Like a potential wedding shoe. And I was saying before, you could have these as like the bridal shoes. And then you could go for the pink for all of your bridesmaids. Dreamy. Oh, for the bridesmaid that doesn't like heels. The flat shoe. <laughs> so again, it's double bow. And on the inside of the bows are full crystals. In a lot of beautiful detail. And again, the elongated toe. And then more denim. <laughs> All the denim collection too, in all the different shapes, the flats, the platforms, the peep toe style. So beautiful! Yes! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this! <laughs> <laughs> this is <Whoa>. amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with this strap, yes, right? Yes. Oh, it's it's so it's it's so it's so it's it's small. So beautiful! Oh, small so long! <laughs> Just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Same. Armani already. <laughs> <laughs> you well, should I see the chainmail stuff. Really? Yes. Is it really? I mean, this though. This this really is weighty. Oh, walking down the runway, I was like, wow. Like a jacquard. Really it's just beautiful, yeah. isn't it, on the inside? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far yeah, like perfect length for me as well. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Quilting. Oh gosh. Um, it'll be a <laughs> Wow. Oh, I'm just in my element right now. Oh, that's really nice. There's some really great pieces in here. Oh, there's only one in black. Yeah, just nice classic pieces, like wardrobe staples. Yeah, nice. yeah, real staples. I love the box in this. I can totally see you in this, babe. Can totally see you in this. This is like velvet. Oh, that goes in the Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, look, where the dart is incredible. That just looks really good as we go out. Doesn't it? That looks really good like that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Look at those shoulders. This is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Wow. That shade.